Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you because I haven't made a video in a while, sorry. Um, as you know, I'm moving at the moment, so that's really exciting. <laughs> um, that being said, yeah, hope you like this look. Um, I went for a bit of a bolder look today just because I'm sick of doing boring shit. And, well, I don't really do boring stuff, but I just wanted to go with something a little bit outside of my everyday comfort zone and I hope you like it too that being said you don't have to kind of do you know the eyes or the lips you know you can do little bits from each kind of process so you don't have to wear this look together that's basically what I'm trying to say anyway um enough jabbling um jabbling what's it called talking I have no idea anyway I'm just crazy the heat's got to me um yeah, I'm acting pretty weird in this video. I'm just gonna go, because I'm acting really weird. Okay, love you, bye. So for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. And um, this foundation is particularly interesting because it's a liquid to powder finish, and it's extremely liquidy. You know, you can even hear it um, in the packaging when you're shaking. And it dries to a powder finish, like I mentioned. And I feel like it's the perfect foundation, especially for me, during the summertime because it stays put all day. I don't have to retouch my makeup because most of the time I really can't be bothered unless it's lipstick or something like that. And I just think it's a really interesting formula. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a go for the summertime. And a little bit goes a long way as well because it has a very velvety texture. You literally need the smallest amount. So I'm just applying it with a foundation brush. I'm just concentrating on the areas that I get red, which is pretty much all over my face to be honest. So I'm just applying some NARS Creamy Concealer, which is a very popular product. And to be honest, I really like to apply concealer in the darkest, worst areas of my eyes. And if I wanted to make my eyes look super bright, I could go, you know, all around. But because this formula is so thick and creamy, is that I do find that it kind of ages you in a way. Because when you put it really, like, really far underneath your lash line, it really does get into those wrinkles, no matter how much you powder. So, some advice would be to, I mean, say for instance, you obviously apply concealer under your eyes. Um, instead of just going in with the product right underneath your lash line, start maybe on the orbital bone and kind of work up. That way you're not putting the most product um, in the area that shows a lot of, you know, expression. Um, and for me, because I get quite dark on my inner corner, I obviously don't get any wrinkles there, so it's fine. And rather than kind of buff it in, I just like to tap because that way I'm not moving the product around, which means I'm getting the most out of the product. So I'm just tapping it on the skin just to push the product into the skin. So now I'm just going to go in with a powder. This is one of my favourite powders actually. Um, I've owned this for a while and it's actually one of the very few powders I've ever hit pan on because I'm not really that much of a powder person since I have dry skin, but this one in particular is a really great product. Just using this brush here and just setting the concealer. And now I'm just going to set the rest of my face. And I'm just going to use this brush here actually, just because it's one I have on hand at the moment. And I don't like to set my whole face, I just like to set the centre really. Just focus on the areas that you don't want, you know, to look like a sweaty mess. <laughs> so next I'm going on with a blush and highlight and I want to keep my skin kind of fresh I guess. Um, since I'm using brighter colours I don't want to use a bronzer as well. I find that bronzers can look really pretty with gold eyes or you know warm toned eyes but since I'm doing something quite bright I want to keep my skin really fresh and not too made up. And actually the perfect product for this that I found in this particular shade is the Shiseido um, Face Colour Enhancing Trio and this is kind of a lollipop of colours and I really like the packaging actually even though the packaging is pretty big compared to what the actual product is and um, so you get the blush, highlight and kind of 
This is what really confused me about this product. I was like, what the hell is that? It's meant to be kind of like a blending shade. So when you put the blush and highlight and you want to kind of synchronize the two together, you apply the face color. And obviously since it's designed for Asian skins, it's quite a yellow base, but they do have all different types of colors. But this shade really stuck out to me in particular. So I'm just gonna use the brush that comes with it. Brush is really nice actually. And I'm taking the pink. And the pink is just so pretty. It's very, very sheer on the skin, and that's what I really like about it. It's really pretty and kind of transparent. It's like a candy, bright pink. And even the blush alone, as you can see, gives you a little bit of a highlight. Because it's very kind of... I wouldn't say it's glittery at all, it doesn't look glittery, but it just gives you a beautiful texture. Then I'm going to take the highlight shade and just apply it um, with the same brush. And just on top. And I also like to take the kind of brow bone and sculpt it in. So for brows, I'm using one of my most loved products at the moment, which I'm sure you've all heard of before. And I like this product and shade in particular because I have very black eyebrows. I mean, they're not black, but they're very, very dark brown. And compared to my hair, it's like, what the hell is going on? Um, so whenever I use brow products, especially drugstore ones, um, they seem to be very red. But then if I go the opposite of red, very black, whatever, um, they just look like block brows, you know, if you match your pencil to your eyebrow, it just looks too harsh. So I always try and go a shade lighter, which is what you're meant to do anyway. Um, and this shade in particular is just really good for me at the moment. It's just not too red, but it's not too harsh either. So I think that's why I really like this um, product, because it just has a really great shade. And I just like to kind of... Add a couple of hairs to my brow, I'm not going to change the shape or anything, I just like to enhance what I already have, which I do think brow products should do that, I don't think it should be about changing your shape, unless of course you're doing theatre makeup, or you're doing you know character makeup, or whether you don't actually have any hair there at all. Um, you know, makeup has wonderful powers and it's great to use them, but I do think if you're happy with your brows, I just think the tiniest adjustment can make such a difference. So that's what I like to focus on, really. Just adding a couple of hairs where I don't have them. So I'm just taking my gel liner and I'll apply a bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to tight line the top of my eye. So for the blue shade, I'm going to be using the NYX Studio Liquid Liner and I picked this up at a makeup show a couple of months ago, probably a while ago actually, and this colour is called Extreme Blue. They have a lot of colours. The formula isn't the best ever, but honestly because I rarely wear this colour, I don't need to invest in an extremely great formula. Um, I do find that if you apply a bit on the back of your hand and you know, test it out, it does kind of crumble away and it dries up quite fast. But for this look, you know, I don't do this every day, so there you go. I just don't spend a lot of money on colours like this in particular. But either way, it's a great colour. And... Basically, we're just going to be focusing on the outer corner. So when we take it in, we really take it in very, very thinly, just so it gives you an extra pop at the outer corner. But of course, you can do whatever you like. If you feel like you want to add a bit more in the front, then go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to start on the outer corner now.
Next, once you have your eye perfected and similar to the other wing, it's time to go in with a bit of more colour. And I just want to add different shades of blue just to kind of give it um, different textures and more interest in the eye. So I'm choosing the Rouge Money Rouge Loose Glitter Pigment in Spun from Sunny Seawater. It's a gorgeous like turquoise aqua shade. And these are actually the sample pots in case you're wondering. I believe they come in like a rollerball form. So I'm just taking a small detail brush, this is the um, Bedalium Tools 755. I'm just working from the lid and I'm just going to press the pigment into the outer lower corner of the eye. I'm basically just working really close on the lash line. So now I'm just taking this concealer pencil from Makeup Forever and I'm just going to tight line the bottom waterline just to open it up a little bit. I'm just going to curl my lashes as usual. And I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which is kind of clumpy to be honest. The brush like collects way too much product, which is kind of annoying. Let me know if that happens to you too, but it's not very nice. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to do kind of a multi-coloured but very subtle orangey coral lip. And I wanted to mix some colours. And I've used my OCC Mini Lip Tire Kit. And um, some of the colours are actually out of here, but I think this is really good if you haven't got it already. Um, I think I got mine for Christmas, but it's really good if you're a makeup artist or you just want to do your own makeup and mix shades. So I mixed this red colour and this coral colour here. I'll put the information in the bar down below. And then I mix the kind of pinky red shade with orange, no sorry, yellow from the flash palette. And I've created kind of an orangey red and a coral. So I'm gonna first go in with the orangey red. I'm not gonna use any lip liner for this because I want it to be kind of imperfect, but perfect. Hmm. Really like it. So I've just finished applying the uh, OCC lip tie and I'm going to add a small amount of the kind of coral shade just to lighten it up and because my lips are quite um, thin as well, I just like to apply kind of a different shade in the middle. So this is the finished look, um, I hope you enjoy this video, it's a little bit different um, than something I would normally do, but equally I love the colours, especially the kind of orange lip with the blue eyes, it works really nicely. Alternatively, if you don't like the blue underneath, you could get rid of that and just do the blue on the eyes, you know, you can take each part of the look and do whatever you like basically. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again back on my channel very soon. Um, don't forget to like this video as well and I'll see you soon. Bye!